Hi there, Gemini. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at your horoscope for February 2nd through February 8th. And it's one of those weeks when Mercury, the planet of communication and clear thinking, your ruling planet, is really up to his old tricks. He's out of phase, he's retrograde in your fellow air sign of Aquarius. And with a full moon on Tuesday in Leo, your third house of communication. This is one of those weeks, Geminis, where you cannot say or do anything without thinking about it, then thinking about it again, then not doing it. If you go to press send on an email, if you go to press send on an email or a text or an instant message or whatever, Facebook Messenger, whatever, read it through, think about it, see who's on the CC list, and then put it in your saved draft. That's how bad this week is going to be because, you know, you may feel a certain way about something or someone, but is it necessarily the right time for you to let that person know exactly how you're feeling? The answer is probably not. It's probably a time for you to sit down and have that conversation with him or her or them when the timing is better. This is not a good time to sort out your emotional overload and sort through your emotional closets with Mercury out of phase in Aquarius and with that full moon lingering over us midweek. It really is a time for you to be very careful with your neighbors, your siblings, your co-workers when traveling. Do you have tow, uh, you know, like when you call and they come and tow you and it's not going to cost you $500. Make sure you don't park and get towed in a very difficult to understand parking situation. I live in Los Angeles and sometimes there's 12 signs in one street saying where you can and cannot park. And lo and behold, it's like you need a college degree to read these signs. So just be very careful if you are out and about in your parking. Spend the money, valet, spend the money, park it in a parking structure. You'll be happy you did. It'll be a lot less stress. And hey, who has time to read 12 signs? I mean, really. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I will speak to you again next week, Geminis.